We wanted to do something more up to date, and not just in terms of audio itself, but uh, also in terms of workflow. It was clear that IP would become more and more a bigger topic. What we wanted to do is to have a console that you can operate without reading a manual or anything. So a self-explaining workflow, no deep layers and hierarchies in operation. Also combining two things of the, let me say, new world, which is obviously touch, the flexibility of the touch and uh, the kind of existing world like uh, rotary encoders and any uh, tactile items on the surface. So to combine that in, in the right ratio and the right amount, that was the goal. And I think uh, with Avatus, we managed to do that. To have a strict workflow over all areas, um, that, that is the idea. The operator console, basically all the consoles are the same. They have faders, they have rotaries, they have uh, uh, meters. That's the, the operational part, but to set up the console and uh, control the parameters and stuff like that, this has a mix, it's a, I could say, a traditional approach. You still have the rotaries to control it, but you have this addition of the touch screens where you have a, a more simultaneous um, operation side. So that on the screen, when you touch it, you immediately see the results. You know, let's say for the EQ, you can set the EQ in four ways. So the classic way with the rotaries, then on the touch screen, like on, a, on, an, on an iPad or a tablet. Uh, but also on the touch screen, you can set increments, uh, you can set on a slider uh, settings. So you have all these ways of control. And you know, let's say when you do like a, a setup, you want to have much detail in it and an overview of your EQ, you can use the whole screen. But when you're doing something live, you want, let's say, a more direct uh, access and direct control, then you can use the, the rotary. So you have, as an operator, this kind of choice. And this is, to me, as, as a former operator on, on audio consoles, something completely uh, new. For stage tech, high quality and good craftsmanship was always the number one priority. So there was no factoring in China or cutting costs on certain parts because we want to deliver the best possible product uh, to our customers and to all the users of our products. We used uh, high quality faders and buttons that are made uh, to push uh, thousands of times. Um, because our consoles are made uh, to run 24-7 and uh, to be used uh, all the day for 10 or 20 years. So it's uh, really important when you buy a stage tech console that you don't have it for a few years, but for at least a decade. Sustainability is a big topic at our company. We started with the Cantos console in the 90s, and in the 2000s we had the Aros mixing desk, which was basically like an analog surface. So all the people coming from an analog workflow, uh, they could get used to this, but have all the freedom and the possibilities of the digital age. And uh, with Avatus, we're taking it even a step further because we have one software platform which provides all the features and all the processing, but we have many different uh, surfaces. So you cannot only scale it in size, but you can have consoles without a metering screen, for example, or without the lower screen to make them much more compact and uh, to suit them for the space that you want to work in. Additional to this, we are not only fixed to one surface per console. One console can consist of multiple surfaces, which really allows to work together, not only in the same place, on the same desk, but in different rooms or even in different parts of the world. And this is all um, realized with an underlying IP technology. Behind all our mixing desks is the audio routing uh, called Nexus. Nexus is a flexible system which consists of uh, I.O. devices which are modular. So you can place any type of analog or digital I.O. into these I.O. devices and also control modules 
anything you would need for the bigger picture of audio production. These are all connected either by fiber with our own uh, protocol or by IP. IOs of the whole Nexus network are available to all consoles. So you might have a bigger network, we have multiple consoles and they all can share the inputs, they can send out stem mixes, uh, any outputs to other consoles who really can work in a concert together with all your stage deck equipment. It's funny, we're now in 2022, so we have seen, let's say, two decades of digital mixing consoles. We're now not discussing anymore if digital is better than analog. It's just a, a matter of fact that analog consoles are, are, aren't around anymore. There are no real analog desks anymore, except some museum-like uh, environments. So digital is the norm now. Now, now we can discuss and, and, and talk about how should the digital desk be designed to, to be useful and quick. And I think for, for the first 15 years of using digital consoles, often it was, it, it was always a comparison. Is it, is it like analog? Does it feel like analog? And looking at this, I can say a lot of it can feel like an analog console if you wanted to. And here we get the Avatus console as a control surface. I often call it, uh, well, when, when guests come in, I call it, ah, it's just a big iPad with knobs. And it sort of is, because this is the controller. The audio processing happens in the, um, well, on the DSP cards down in the basement in our star router. And so it is a control surface. It is a bit like a control surface if you mix in the box in Pro Tools or another DAW and, and have a fader box. It's uh, just a better fader box. It has a very, in, well, it has great quality components, has good faders. It has a very logical layout on the screens. It has a good combination of physical, uh, physical knobs. Now you can turn and push and do things and, and good visual feedback and uh, touchscreens for a lot of functions. It is done in a really good way. A is the quality of the screens is, uh, is really good. They are reacting quick. Everything feels, feels like intuitive. It's, it's a very fast learning curve. It's a lot more software driven than, than previous uh, stage check consoles. It makes it a faster learning curve to, to get familiar with the desk and actually very intuitive and, and quick to operate, yeah. As an engineer, you have an understanding of what you expect a console to be. Can you find your way around a new console to, to, to do what you want? And with Avatos, I, I really noticed how quick it was to learn it. And so it's all these little details that they make the surface so quick and intuitive and secure for you as an engineer to use.